Today we're going to be looking at console games that the DS versions changed the story of entirely. We all love the popular Sonic game Sonic Colors, right, on the Wii? And we all remember how at the end of the game, Sonic fights a giant Eggman robot. Well, here's the thing. On the DS version, this doesn't happen. On the DS version, the final boss is where Sonic, Super Sonic fights a giant wisp monster called the Mother of All Wisps. So this doesn't happen in the Wii. And let's not forget that in the DS version, Sonic and Tails wanted to so many friends of theirs, like including Silver. But in the Wii version, this doesn't happen. Now, my question is, which one is canon? Because in Team Sonic Racing, we see the mother of all wisps. But we also see the Eggman Wilbo, so at the end of the Wii version, so which one is it? We all love the N64 games from Mario 64, but Mario is the only playable character and he saves Peach from Bowser. Well, in the DS version, this is different. In the DS version, Yoshi is the star of the show and he saves Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Peach from the clutches of Bowser. So, since the DS version is different from the original, my question is which one is canon? And my theory is that they're both canon. Because you remember at the end of the first one that Mario puts Yoshi's on the roof and Mario talks to him. And at the beginning of the second game, Yoshi sits on the roof. So what if they're both can and one takes place prior to another? At least, that's just my theory. What's yours? We all love the game Black Ops Zombies. And if you don't know what it is, where it's a game where these four heroes go through the world trying to end the zombie apocalypse. And every level is documented in the world of Black Ops Zombies. Like, every level is documented. But here's the thing. If you don't remember, there was a DS version of the game. And in this version, there are way different maps and way different characters. But these maps are nowhere documented in the console version. So my guess is that they're not canon. But then, the question is, why make the game, the DS game, if they're not canon? Why can we make the original on the DS? Do you remember the SpongeBob game on console, on console named Creature from Country Crab? In other words, it's about SpongeBob Patrick trying to stop Plankton from destroying the world. And at the end, you find out that it was all a dream. Well, here's the thing. In the DS version, you already know it's a dream from the very beginning. So, and there's way more levels that aren't in the original. So, like, which one's canon? I guess you could say both of them are canon because, I mean, they both have the same story. So maybe just the DS version is like 10 editions. That's most likely theory. We all love the popular remake of Super Mario Bros. on the Wii and how in the opening cutscene, the Koopalings and Bowser Jr. get a giant cake and take Princess Peach away. Well, in the DS version, this is not how it happens. In the DS version, they, they just go to Peach's castle where Mario and Luigi go and take her. But here's the thing, the Koopalings aren't even in the DS version. So, which one's canon? Mostly, most of the time I would say the Wii version, but it seems like the DS version is probably going to be canon because it has a sequel and the Wii version does not. I'm not kind of Jumar Bros. You. Jumar World 2 Yoshi's Island, a bunch of Yoshis and Bay Mario trying to save Luigi from this evil witch. Now, already this game changes Mario's entire backstory, so it's kind of confusing. But here's the thing, it's even more confusing when you get to the DS version. So the DS version, it's not just Baby Mario, but it's also Baby Warrior, Baby Peach, and Baby Donkey Kong. So, this game has more babies, so which one's canon? Now, this one I'm not entirely sure what to say, so this one I'm just going to have to just guess. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'd like to hear your theories on what game you think is canon. Anyways guys, I guess I'll see you later. Booyah!